this is a reddit recap basically um i liked you know showing you screenshots of reddit and then i just talk about it but today i actually had some time to you know uh, coach people on reddit so i wanted to uh give you a highlight today so today i uh worked on three threads uh, how do i get over my guilt uh, i made a stupid mistake as a child and it ruined my life and how to stay awake after waking up but today i'm just fo choosing to focus on this one so the gist of the post is this, um, I used to do modern and acrobatic dancing as a child but decided to quit but then they came back to the hobby at 31 and now um, they're finding that all the other people who didn't quit are really good but I quit and now there's a, like a lot of regret about quitting. And so what do we think about this? And um, my take that I provided today is this, so dancing is an art, right? And so, fundamentally, what is art? We typically associate art with a technique. So for example, we think good art has good technique. That's a common kind of a way of thinking about it, right? So, lines are super straight. Shading is really accurate. And the value expression, the contrast is really visible. Composition is amazing. So these are our kind of techniques. And you know what? There's some level of truth to this. When those techniques are solid, it makes like a pretty good art. Same with dancing. You know, ballet is a dance that is very rigorous in form, right? My wife tells me the fingers have to, you know, uh, be right and the elbows have to be right and the core, it has to be elongated and the hip and basically when you look at a ballet performance you see those uh proper form and the movement and the techniques flow seamlessly and that is like good art right but if 10,000 people who are in pursuit of the same art all focus on technique right that kind of means that they're all reaching towards one goal of art but we know from history that art changes courses, right? Art has style. So Impressionism has a bunch of different people following the same style, but each Impressionist painter is different, right? And as Impressionist becomes the norm, there are counter movements to that because people, artists are sick of using that same style, seeing it over and over again. And so there's counter movements. And this is how things work in general. Art ultimately comes down to moving of hearts in personal expression and style, right? That individual influence. And that's why a short film by an amateur director who doesn't have resources to all these like, you know, professional editing software and things like that. But if that amateur film tells a very uh, uh, moving story about their personal experience, it can be much more artful than a TikTok video that has great production value, right? Like upscaled and, uh, you know, like color filtered with LUT and the crazy transitions with subtitles and the background music and everything. That has good technique in producing the video, but in terms of the style, in terms of saying a profound message, it's different, right? So art is about style when you come over the initial hurdle of technique. So this is why it's important to continue the practice, especially if you feel like you lost out on a lot of things because of your time off. Because as long as you keep going at it, you will eventually reach a maturity in technique. And that is when your individual self-expression and style starts, right? But style can only be there if you have a story to tell. And that story to tell is your life story. Your life story is completely different from everybody else's. No one can emulate your life story. So 
that's a good thing, right? Nobody can emulate my style because my style originates from my life and I am the only one who has access to my life. So, this includes the events and the metaphysical, the psychological things that happen too, but your limbs, right? Your body, the body that you live in also is an expression of an experience. So, you have a unique style too, along with your teacher, along with your peers. But, it's just that you haven't, because of the time off, you haven't given yourself the chance to mature in terms of the technique. So, you're basically at not the level of being able to express yourself freely with all the techniques matured. But you can't get to that stage of developing your style if you quit now just because your technique is lacking. So, with that, another side effect, or side effect, or rather something else to consider is this. I can't be like them. Now, this feels really bad, right? But nobody can be like me. This doesn't feel that great. Because if the other pe me being not being able to be other people feels bad, shouldn't the fact that other people not being able to emulate me, shouldn't that also feel good? In situations like this, the discrepancy between the feelings comes from how you view yourself. In other words, yeah, I get that, but who the fuck would want to be me? I suck. That kind of mentality is what keeps driving your morale and motivation down because you don't see yourself as, you don't see your life as worth expressing. You don't see your style as worth something in the art form that you are interested in. You're valuing other people's lives, other people's styles, other people's experiences more than yours. So if you're an artist and you are having a bad time with your um, self-worth, I think that is something very important to keep in your mind.